morning everyone. Today we are at Wallamanapa Conservation Area in Rentham, Massachusetts. This is one of my favorite places to take a nature walk. So let's head in and have a good old time. On this log there's a bunch of pine cones. These are white pine cones that have been shooed up by probably a squirrel. And then right there I do think that is scat with some fur mixed in. There you can see a whole bunch of the great blue heron nest. It's 27 degrees here on Saturday morning. I'm not sure what kind of maple tree this is, but it's pretty to see this beautiful yellow tree. Once again, the beavers have dammed up here. Can't get across this boardwalk. So Chris wants us to attempt to go across this beaver dam. All right, I'm gonna go for it. I went to grab a stick to help me <laughs> and it snapped right off. All right, we are crossing right now. Almost there. I'm getting braver with my old age. Oh, that's muddy. Let me get on solid boardwalk. Alrighty. Yay! Look at that beaver dam, guys. Isn't that massive? Massive! We were hoping to see some ducks. There isn't any here. There is a mute swan way across the way. Well, I'm happy we made it a pop. Part. Excuse me. Try that again, Brenda. I'm happy that we made it across because we haven't been able to come on this side for the last few walks. Here's some asters that have turned to seeds. Many animals will eat that. It looks pretty in the sunlight. And here is some dried seeds on a goldenrod. I always wonder how this part of the truck got here. Hey guys, do you like my new car? Chris thinks he can fix it all up for me and I'll be able to drive all over the place. <laughs> This looks like an old wash tub. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Oh my gosh, guys, November 20th and there's a dragonfly. Oh my goodness, it's so cold. Look at them, beautiful. That is a real treat. Be well, dragonfly. Thank you for stopping. Wow, guys, a cherry face meadowhawk that makes two dragonflies today. I can't believe it. You are gorgeous. This is a real treat for the end of November. There's some mute swans way out there. Oh, I think that's a ring neck duck right next to it. Yeah, a ring-neck duck right there. There's some hooded magansers. Oh, they're not coming in clear. They're so far away. Those are two males. I did see a female. There she is. There is a couple of Canada geese and a ring-neck duck. They're pretty far away. So that is Route 495. I bet you most people that are driving on 495 don't even realize the beautiful woodlands that are down here. I much prefer being down here than on the highway. So we're gonna head back to the main trail. I was coming up this hill and I didn't look up and I just grabbed this tree to help, help me. And I realized um, this tree is not very sturdy, what's left of it. I love the princess pine. It's nice to see green in the woods. A few times during the summer, I was showing you guys an invasive plant. It is a bush and it's called autumn's olive and the way to identify it is to by looking at the leaves underneath, they turn silver and they still are silver. So they fell off while they were still kind of this green color. There is one of the beaver dens. The water level is up here. I'm having to kind of walk at an angle. Whoa! When we were walking on the other side we heard two pileated woodpeckers but we did not get an eyeball on them. We waited a while but this is how they um, drill into the tree. They make this sort of long rectangular shape. You can hear a lot of airplane traffic here. Chris is on the floating bridge. This plant is sheep laurel. They have a very pretty pink flower, which obviously flowers on blooming in November when it's 27 degrees. But you know, I've never noticed these here before. There's so many. I'll have to keep an eye out next spring for when they bloom. Peace, Peace love, love, and joy. joy. Always, always be humble. humble. Always, always be, be kind. kind. See you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>